Hey everybody, welcome back to Running Gun, and today I want to talk about 10 essential hotkeys that you need to know if you're using Adobe Lightroom. I use them all the time. Let's get to it. Alright everybody, we are here in Adobe Lightroom, and one of the first things I'll do to one of my images when I'm editing it is make sure the white balance is correct, and I will hit W, and that is also right here. It'll bring up your white balance selector, your little eyedropper, so you can find a neutral part of your image and get the correct white balance if you didn't when you were shooting. So, select my white balance. One of the next hotkeys I have is R, and what R will do will bring up your crop mode. And you can go up here, make all your adjustments, and then I can hit enter to save that crop to get the composition I like. It's just an easy shortcut when maybe you're scrolled down here and your tone curves, split toning, details, lens corrections, and um, you don't want to scroll all the way up here, you can hit R to crop your image. Now, another shortcut I like to use is V. Now what V does, it automatically changes your treatment up here from black and white to, excuse me, from color to black and white, but you can also use V to go back and forth. So, black and white, color, I like to just do that as a quick preview. What would my image look like in black and white? And then I can see really quickly. All right, so let's say I have um, some edits I've made in another image over here. And I want to take all those as edits, and I'd like to use them on this image right here. Well, I can hit Control shift c and that will bring up my copy settings. And I can hit Copy, and I can go back to my image and hit Control shift v and that will paste my settings as you can see those settings for this image are a little bit overexposed and i'd have to change my exposure and you know what those aren't looking that great so i'm gonna control z a couple times control z and i like things the way they were but that's a great way to quickly copy and paste settings from one image to another all right another adjustment that i like to do is the spot removal tool and that is q you can see all these little dots that just popped up. Those are little pieces of dust that I've already removed from my image because I had a pretty dirty sensor and a pretty dirty lens. That's not something you want, but that's all I had at the time. So I can hit either enter or Q again to make that go away and bring my image back. All right, another tip that I like to use is when I'm sharpening, I'll zoom in right here. You could hold down Alt and let's see. Um, I'll play with my detail. See, while hold, holding Alt, it'll turn my image black and white, and I can see the amount of detail I'm actually affecting in the image. Do the same thing up here with sharpening. And I can see sharpening that's being done. It's a lot easier to see than when you're in color. Same thing with noise reduction right here. Hold Alt, changes my image black and white, and I can actually see the amount of noise reduction a lot more clearly than as you can see here when it's in color. All right, another shortcut I love to use is backslash. I'll hit backslash and there's my original unedited raw image and I can hit backslash again and I can go back and forth. As you can see, I sharpened this up a little bit, brought out some of the detail in here. I got rid of a lot of this dust that was up here on my sensor and added some contrast, made the whites actually white and um, got rid of some of this haze that was originally in my image. Now let's say I wanna show this image to somebody that's standing by me, and I don't need them to see all my settings, and what's really important is the image, I can hit F, and F will bring up full screen mode. And again, I can zoom in, which is really cool. My whole screen right here, you can see another photographer over in this helicopter here. And I can zoom back out, and I can hit F again to exit full screen mode. Another shortcut I use all the time, instead of going to your sliders and trying to reset them back to zero, it can be kind of a pain. You're trying to wiggle your slider back and forth, reset it to zero. Just double click your slider right back to zero. So those were 10 hotkeys and shortcuts that I use all the time in Adobe Lightroom. I wanna give you guys one more little shortcut that I know just as a bonus. And that is up here in the upper right hand corner of your histogram, you can see your show shadow clipping and show highlight clipping. So let's check that out real quick. Showing shadow clipping, it'll come up with some areas. Let's underexpose my image right now. And it will come up, look at that. This is obviously an extreme example. I would never underexpose my image this much. 
but this will show you some unrecoverable black areas that are just clipped too much and that is pure black right there let's reset my exposure there that's just an extreme example and we can turn that off right here by hitting that slider and let's do show highlight clipping right here let's bring my exposure up just slightly actually let's bring my highlights up and you will see pretty soon it'll start to show there we go this is another very extreme example but this will show you where my highlights are pure white up here in my histogram I can also do adjustments up there It'll show you where your highlights are clipping in your image. Let's do undo all of that back to the original image. All right, so those are 10 of my top hotkeys to use in Lightroom that I think everybody should know. Helps me work a lot faster and more efficiently. And if you're editing your raw photos in Adobe Lightroom, hopefully that helps you out. Make sure you give this video a like, share it with somebody that um, you think might need to know this, and make sure you subscribe down below so you're getting all my videos. And don't forget for the Memorial Day, my epic unboxing is going to be awesome. I'll see you guys then. Get out and go shoot.